If you are like many language students, you might have a problem with procrastination. Perhaps you are slow to do homework or study for a test. Maybe you do not like to study, or you become distracted while studying. Whatever the case may be, learning how to focus can help you have more useful study sessions. What are some ways to help you stop procrastinating? In this education report, we will explore one method to help you focus: the Pomodoro technique. Francesco Cirillo created the Pomodoro technique in the 1980s. Cirillo was a college student at the time. He used a timer shaped like a tomato to help him focus on his schoolwork. Pomodoro is the Italian word for the fruit, by the way. The technique works like this: you set a timer for 25 minutes and work on a task until the timer rings. Take a short break, around five minutes, then reset the device. After several 25-minute study sessions, you should take a longer break, anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, writes Cirillo. Cirillo suggests recording the number of Pomodoro sessions you complete. He also suggests getting organized and planning for future study sessions, so that you can complete the most important work first. The important point of this method is to help you focus and stop postponing work. Procrastination, says Dr. Barbara Oakley, is one of the biggest issues in language learning. Oakley is the creator of the most popular massive open online course, or MOOC, in the world. The class is called Learning How to Learn. Oakley, a professor of engineering, also has years of experience in language learning. She studied Russian and worked as a translator on a ship when Russia was part of the Soviet Union. The Pomodoro technique, she says, is the best way to help overcome procrastination. The technique goes beyond just setting a timer, adds Oakley. She notes the importance of turning off anything that might distract you while studying, such as a cell phone. Also, the important part about the technique. Is to train your brain to enjoy learning. Oakley explains that you should treat yourself after focusing for 25 minutes. And when you're done, give yourself a little reward. Listen to a song you like, or you know, get up and move around, or chat, or just some kind of reward. And that reward will help wire your brain so it more、uh, enjoys. Uh, the actual process of learning. The next time you have to study, give the Pomodoro technique a try. Set a timer for 25 minutes and try to focus as much as possible during that time period. Then give yourself a reward for your hard work. Maybe get yourself something to eat or drink. You can find free timers on the internet. They can help you with the Pomodoro technique, or you can use an old-fashioned timer. The tool you choose to use is not important. What is important is that you avoid distractions and train your mind to enjoy learning. Give the Pomodoro technique a try. And let us know how it works for you. I'm John Russell.